Hairs on my hand. I have lived long enough to welcome years and years reward of hairs turning white to the contrast of smooth tan forearm skin. Goodbye, I bid goodbye to muscles enforcing a definition upon forearm skin, clenching the left hand to make fist hide the scar on left palm made from by mischief's fall into forbidden Johnson's Creek, the scar of cut revealing where I wasn't supposed to be. Clench hard, but the muscles now work as much as they want, not to flatter my silly aesthetic demands. Fingers have learned to have their own fun by skillfully sifting through the short hairs of the snout of the dog as he flexes and points his nose, tilting his head and groaning. The hairs on my hand mean nothing to his stilled tail, waiting for a pause in my pause motion for his tail to begin wagging again. To soothe and comfort, the hairs on my forearm have turned gray, even white witnessing the dramas and oaths, the declarations and admonitions that my hands have so dutifully gesticulated at the whim of circumstance and fervor. I'll wager those hairs have enjoyed the contact with loved one's hands, especially the little ones, as they led them to peaceful slumbers after stories read and the loosening grip meant sweet dreams had come.